family welcome back if you are a returner and if you are new hi how you doing welcome uh hope you'll consider sticking around but welcome to finance fridays on a monday because your girl's been sick i had to go to the hospital and get like a covid test done because i felt like i had covid again but it turns out it was just the regular garden variety flu so yeah i've been sick so that's why everything's a little bit behind but i feel better now so we're getting all caught up so i've already taken uh the binders out of well, the cash envelopes out of my cash envelope binder wallet whatever it's called just to speed things along and make it easier so i'm not trying to fumble with that and unclamp it and all that stuff so um, I have my budget by paycheck planner already here just so I can keep track of my denominations to make sure we don't have any slip ups, mess ups, none of that. And introducing this beautiful piece of laminated paper right here. I finally printed out, um, found a way to keep track of what I have in the bank and be able to add it up with what I um, am stuffing in cash in my envelope since I do online stuffing as well as like physical cash stuffing. So I just printed out the sheet that I bought from Pink X Budgets shop. Shout out to her because I could not get it to work electronically. So I went to Office Depot, just had them laminated for me. It cost me like $1.99. And then it was even cheaper than that once I joined like their rewards club or whatever. So just had it laminated. So this is the balance of what I have for these accounts in the bank. And then I'll just like add what I have stuffing in the envelope. That way I'll have the exact amount of how much money I have saved for that specific category. We'll get more into it when we get there. But yay, got that all together. So I've taken out the everyday category, which is gas, grocery, self-care, household, and miscellaneous just kind of like, he goes back and forth. He jumps from the everyday category into the prep and landing category. Like he just, he's, he's a fence hopper. He just, he goes back and forth. So starting with the gas, that is getting $25, which is just a 20 and a five. And for my slayers who specifically come just for the budgeting, hi guys, I didn't forget about you. I know I kind of left you out of the intro, but I didn't forget about you. What is in there? Oh, my gas card. All right, so 25 in there, put my gas card back so I can get that reloaded. Because I go to, we have a Sam's Club out here that's close by with like the attached gas station. So you know how you get um, cash back every time you go to the gas station. So that's where I go to get gas. But they want you to put the money, they put the money when you give it to them, to the gas attendant. They put it on like a gift card and then you go back out to the pump and use the gift card to pay for your gas. And I started collecting so many of those gift cards in my car every time I went to go get gas. It got to be annoying. So I asked them, they said I am allowed to reload one card. Well, reload the cards and then I don't have to keep collecting them because it got to be like a thing where I was really just collecting Walmart gift cards. All right, so let me check off gas. We got that and then grocery is getting $30, which is three tens. Jump one, two, three, put you back. So $30 is not in grocery, and yes, that is less than what I normally stuff. Normally I do 60, but we just, Thomas just went grocery shopping, and so a lot of the stuff he got is like stuff that I can eat and whatnot, and plus my mom was just down here, so grocery shopping was done when she was down here, so we have like, our refrigerator is pretty stocked right now, so I don't really need to go and buy anything. So self-care, cross that out. Self-care is getting $15.00 which is three fives. All right, so that to the side and then household is getting 10. So check that. Household is getting 10, which is a $10 bill. miscellaneous the fence hopper is also getting ten dollars 
All right, so that brings us to the end of our my wallet. Now to get into our regular old fashioned cash envelopes. So pulling out the rest of Perfect Landing, which is Tom Tom, Theo, Bex, Born Beauty. So for everyone who's been here before, you guys know Thomas and Theo get $10 each. So $10 for Theo, $10 for Tom Tom. And this is just money that I set aside for my kids for when they get older, whether it be for college or if they decide not to go to college, they just want to go to like a technical school of some sort or whatever they decide to do. They want to, they go to school and then there's some left over and they want to buy a house and go towards that. Because once their envelopes hit a thousand dollars, I plan on opening them a um, CD, a certificate of deposit, so that it'll just continue to collect money. And then I'll put another thousand dollars aside, put that away in the CD as well, so that it can just continue to gain for them. So uh, to count it all out: 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 5, 65, 75, 85, 95, 100, 5. 10, 15, $115. All right. Come on, envelope. And we'll put Theo's $10 away. Ten, twenty, thirty, five, forty-five, fifty-five, sixty-five, seventy-five, eighty-five, ninety-five, one hundred, five, ten, fifteen. All right. Set that money to the side. All right. Now back to school. Get this usual forty. Let me check off Thomas and Theo in my budget by paycheck workbook so I don't get distracted. That gets its usual 40, which is just two 20s. Okay. And we'll see what we have here. Two, four, six, eight, 120. So in back to school, we have $120 in our envelope. And now here is where we break out our newly laminated tracker. So here it is, back to school. It already has $340 and 10 cents. That 10 cents came from, since it's a savings account that I opened for all of these, it collects dividends. So the $340 that I've had sitting in that account over time, the bank has added an additional 10 cents. So that's where all these little cents are from on these categories. It's just the bank adding in their share because it's a savings account. So what did we just say was in there? 120? I forgot just that fast, guys. It's what happens when you start to get old. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 20. Okay, it was 120. All right, so. Now that would bring us to 120 plus 340. I'm not a mathematician, guys. I want to say 460. Zero, six. Yes. Okay. Okay. So we have $340.10 already in the bank plus the 120 we have in cash. That now brings our total to 400 $60.10 for back to school. And this is just a regular um, Sharpie marker pen thing that I use to, wrote, to write on this laminate. So hopefully for my next paycheck when I go to add more money, I should just be able to like spritz this and then just wipe it off to be able to fix it. So yay, we're off to a good start. All right, so that brings us to the end of back to school. And then beauty, uh, we are adding $15, which is a 10 and a five. Mark that off now.
All right, and so now in beauty, we have 10, 20, 30, 5, 45. $45 is now in beauty. And that also brings us to the end of prep and landing. Moving right along into our long-term category. New house, new car, and retirement. All right, so starting with, let me just mark these out like that. And I got these different colored pens to try to like keep myself more organized. But like some of them are just so light, I can barely see them from afar. So I don't know how good of an idea that was. But okay, new car and new house are both getting $15, a 10 and a five. So I'll take out two tens and two fives since we know they both get the same. All right, so starting with a new car. In this envelope, it now has two, four, 55. So $55 is now a new car. Let me mark that down so I don't forget. New house. All right. And let's add this up. Two, four, fifty, sixty, five, seventy. So seventy dollars in the new house. And then, let's cross these out. Uh, retirement is getting $25, which is a 20 and a five. Okay, make sure everything's going the right way. So in our cash envelope for retirement, we have 100, 2, 4, 6, 8, 200, 5, 10. So $210 is now in retirement. Can't believe he's still in there. Y'all remember that one time Benjamin joined the class? Never to be seen again? Whew. I cannot wait until we are done paying for this Disney cruise so that I can go back to stuffing my envelopes like I want to. Okay, um, that brings us to the end of long term. Um, yes. End of long term, and I will take out bills, but we're gonna set that to the side for a second while I bring out good old hard laminate sheet again. Um, and I don't know about y'all, but doing math in my head is not my strong suit, so just excuse me for a second while I math. of my chicken scratch on the side so collectively between our physical cash envelopes and our accounts in the bank in retirement I have five hundred and thirty five dollars and eleven cents in new house I have three hundred and thirty dollars and seven cents and in new car I have $353.57.
Okay. So, set this to the side again. I don't think we need it. No, we don't need this anymore. All right, so take all the trackers out, set them to the side. Because I'll update them later. And I really just need to get a calculator. Okay, so I took out all the trackers for me to update later. And I really like, so I don't have to like do the math on the side. I really should just buy another calculator. But the one I had, y'all, it died like just randomly out of nowhere. And I should have known that was going to happen because I did, you know, get my last calculator from the dollar store. But still, I expected more from it. Like, insert the tire clip. Like, I was rooting for you. We were all rooting for you, calculator. Okay. But moving on. Um, so emergency fund is getting twenty dollars correct which is two tens which now brings us to 10 20 30 45 50 so fifty dollars is not an emergency actually so i don't have to do this later getting all right so car maintenance is getting forty dollars which is two twenties uh oh I was doing so well so well Despite my greatest efforts, I still messed up somewhere, but I'll just wait till the end to fix it. Um, so 20, 30, 45. So $45 is now in car maintenance. And we're just gonna stitch car maintenance and its tracker to the side until the end for me to correct it. Uh, which brings us to travel. Let me circle that. So I know to come back to it. Travel is getting $15, which is a 10 and a 5. Okay, so in travel, we have 10, 20, 35 46 dollars in travel and meanwhile i'm still waiting on my tax refund to come if that ever happens it'll be a miracle because i would really like to get our passports and be done so 46 uh business getting ten dollars which is just a ten and I believe everything else that's left all of these envelopes are all just getting ten dollars so ten there ten for birthdays ten for Black Friday ten for Christmas maybe I didn't do anything wrong I just didn't add up my stuff properly to get enough money from the bank nope I didn't I was supposed to get I was supposed to get six twenties and I only wrote down five twenties, so that was my fault. My bad. Alright, so car maintenance is actually done because I have to go back to the bank and get another twenty to actually put the forty in there that I was supposed to take out. Okay. Well let me put the rest of this money in these envelopes before I get real off track and distracted. Okay. 
So for business, it now has $15. Um, and to birthdays. My Theo's birthday is coming up. He has so many plans for what he wants to do. So 10, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. So $29 in birthdays. Man, I'm telling you, I miss being a kid. Like just making all kinds of plans with other people's money. Miss those days. Um, didn't know how good I had it until it was gone. All right. So that's birthdays, Black Friday. All right, so for Black Friday, we have 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So $109 is now on Black Friday. And lastly, Christmas. So $108 is in Christmas. And bam, that brings us to the end of our build category. Oh, let me put this away. Um, what did I say it was in car maintenance? Does everybody remember? 2, 30, 45. All right, so this now has 45 in it. And I'll have to go back to the bank and put another, pull out another 20. So I can put the actual $40 in here that I wanted to. Our maintenance, put back into the build. All right, there we go. Now we are officially done with all of our categories and effectively with our cash stuffing for this, our first paycheck of May, which I can't believe we're in May already. This year has gone by really fast. But thank you guys so much for watching. And like I've always been saying, all 2021 and beyond, we are slaying our own dragon, solving our own problems and making things happen for ourselves. Uh, please make sure you guys like, comment, share, subscribe. And I know this was a more like chill, like straight to business kind of cash stuffing, but I'm trying to keep it on the shorter side this time around. And I'm still feeling a little not myself. <laughs> so I'm a little tired. I'm going to go take a nap. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.